Hi, it's 200 years exactly since Stanford Raffles landed here and founded the modern city of Singapore. And while you might associate Singapore, I guess, with more modern cutting edge architecture, there are actually many, many buildings stretching right back to colonial times. Here in the video are 10 of Singapore's most interesting heritage buildings. First on the list of historic buildings is Old Parliament House. Built in 1827 and located in the civic area next to the Singapore River, this is the oldest government building and probably the oldest surviving building in Singapore. It was home to the Parliament of Singapore from 1965 to 1999. Perhaps Singapore's most famous building, the Fullerton, was named after Robert Fullerton, the first governor of the Straits Settlements. Designed and used as a general post office, the building has also served as a military hospital in the Second World War, but today this impressive structure is home to the Fullerton Hotel. Empress Place building is located on the north bank of the river in a civic area. Constructed in four phases from 1864 to 1920, these were originally government offices. The original section of the building was designed by colonial engineer John McNair in a Neo-Palladian style. The building is currently the Asia Civilizations Museum. The Victoria Theatre and Concert Hall is situated in the civic area just next to Empress Place. It first began life as a town hall in 1862, but later in the early 1900s a second public hall was built and joined up to the first building by a clock tower to form one large building. It underwent a major four-year-long refurbishment in 2010 and it now looks immaculate with a newly modernised theatre and concert hall. Another structure that began life as two separate buildings is the new National Gallery. The first building, the old Supreme Court, was designed by Frank Dorrington Ward in a style that exemplifies British colonial architecture and opened in 1939. The City Hall building was completed in 1929 in a neoclassical style. It has witnessed important moments in Singapore's history, including the formal Japanese surrender of Singapore back to the British in 1945. Both buildings are now joined together by a large central atrium. St Andrews is the country's largest cathedral. Located near City Hall, this cathedral church of the Anglican Diocese of Singapore was named St Andrew after the patron saint of Scotland and in honour of the Scottish community who donated to the building fund. A church has existed on the site since 1836, but the current church was built between 1856 and 1861. Tian Hock Keng, literally Palace of Heavenly Happiness, is a temple built for seafarers to give thanks to the Chinese sea goddess Mazu for a safe sea passage on their arrival to Singapore. Completed in 1842, Telok Ayer, where the temple is situated, marked the coastline before land reclamation. The Singapore Shop House is a quintessential architectural icon. The origins of the shop house trace back to China, where a majority of early immigrants came from. The first shop houses were constructed during the mid-1840s, and there are some well-preserved examples here in Everton Road. One distinct shop house style is the Puranakan shop house, and there are some great examples in Juchiat Road. Puranakan refers to the descendants of the Chinese who originally settled in Malaysia and Singapore. Baba House, built in the 1890s, is in Neil Road, a beautifully restored Puranakan house which showcases Puranakan history, architecture and heritage. For more on Puranakan culture, visit the Puranakan Museum, itself housed in a historic building in Armenia Street. Old Hill Police Station was built in a neoclassical style and designed by F. Dorrington Ward. As well as the usual facilities for a police station, there were living quarters for policemen and their families. Completed in 1934, it was the largest pre-war government building in Singapore. 
It has a total of 927 windows with colourful shutters. It now serves as offices for several government departments. And finally, this church was commissioned by the first 12 Armenian families that settled in Singapore. It was designed by George Coleman, the architect of many of Singapore's early buildings. One of the country's earliest surviving churches, it was opened in 1836.